The Super Bowl is Sunday, and we have the perfect dish for you to enjoy while you're watching the big game. Food Network star Jason Smith joins me from his kitchen in Grayson. And Jason, it's been a while. What have you been up to? Lord, honey, it's been a super while, ain't it? Listen, I've been doing everything in the world, getting ready to start filming Best Baker in America, and I've been renovating the bathroom, honey. Now, I'm one of those, I just take a hammer, knocked everything out, and start it all over again. So in between cooking, I lay a little tile and just go on with it. So <laughs> so you're starting, so you're getting ready to start the new season of Best Baker in America on Food Network. So when, when will that be out? So we start filming it in February and it's supposed to start airing in May and it'll run May and June. So it's going to be a good one because we've kind of changed the format a little bit. So it's going to be new and fresh again, but it's still the same old best baker that you see. So, all right, well, we're looking, for, we're looking forward to that. So you are going to show us how to make one of your favorite Super Bowl dishes. Do you do anything big for Super Bowl? I mean, we can't have our big parties this year, but will you be watching? I, yeah, usually I do a little something for Super Bowl. It's more about the food for me because, listen, I don't know a thing about football except when they make a touchdown. That's it. So, uh, but yeah, so I love to make a lot of food for the Super Bowl, whether it's, you know, one person, 10 people, whatever. Of course, this year would be different, but, uh, you know, I just love to sit and watch the commercials. It's right. my favorite part yes. and the halftime, but... Yeah, yes. as long as I keep everybody fed, we're good. And they're like, oh, this is what they're doing. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'm good. <laughs> well, and, and I love this dish you're making because it combines three fabulous foods, nachos, hot wings, and tater tots. How did this dish come to be? Listen, let me tell you something, honey. I love tater tots. I love hot wings. I love nachos. And I thought, how can I do this and put it all in one dish so that I don't have to make three different dishes, but get that same one bite and go, oh, this is such a great idea. This is such a great bite because now I'm getting three of my favorites in one bite. So that's how I come up with this. So yeah, I love it. So uh, let's get into it. So now I make mine in a cast iron skillet, but now you can do it in like a sheet tray or whatever you want to do. It's a one pan deal. So. I just put my tater tots, and it's very hot, just took it out of the oven. I just put my tater tots in my cast iron skillet that I buttered with a little bit of oil, uh, bacon grease actually is the best part. <laughs> so bacon grease, and then you just lay your tater tots in there and sprinkle a little salt and pepper into a super hot oven, about 400 degrees until they get super crispy. And then I take diced cube roast history chicken. You just buy this at the store that's already cooked you know, and the, you get that little whole chicken, just buy you a couple of those and cube it up. And then you put uh, hot sauce and um, taco sauce in here and stir it up. You just use your favorite if you want to use a wing sauce or if you want to use just straight hot sauce. And then you've got your hot wing mixture ready to go. And you just sprinkle that right over top of your tater tots. I love that tater tots is the only thing you can find in a store that has the word tater on it because everything else says potato. So <laughs> <laughs> you just put that over there and then we're going to put on our cheese and the heat from the chicken and the tater tots will make that cheese melt. It'll get all ooey and gooey and when you pull it out, it'll string. And then we put some green onions on. So I'm pulling different aspects from each thing. I pull the, of course, the tater tots, but then the chicken is the hot wing part. And then we have a sauce that goes on top that also is the hot wings. And a little bit of black olives, the black olives, the cheese and the onions is from the nachos. And then we have homemade ranch blue cheese dressing. So most people eat their hot wings with ranch or blue cheese, but I like them both. So I make a homemade ranch blue cheese. And then you just, honey, you just square, oh Lord, excuse me, I tell you what, that just goes everywhere, honey, if you don't get that bottle down there, good. And now, honey, for the crown and glory, you got to have some bacon up in here. Yes. So I have some just crunchy, crispy bacon that I've just baked off and crunched up right on top of there lord honey that smells so good that'll make the hogs and the dogs want to watch the football game to taste that i'll tell you what 
And then when you pull it out, you get all of this great, and I hope you all can see that. Look at that beautiful like taters and chicken and you can see the steam on there and the bacon and the cheese and that dressing and Lord, honey, child, let me tell you. Now that right there, honey, is the best football Super Bowl dish you could ever make in your life. Just make big pans of it and they can just spoon it out and eat it a little bit at a time. It's really good. Really, can really you, good. Can you bring it any closer to the camera so we can see it better? Yeah, sure can, honey. Let's I can see get that. Right it looks there. So, and that's so easy. I love all of your dishes are so easy. It's super, super easy. Super easy. There it is. Oh, that looks love so that. good. <laughs> Listen, honey, that right there making tongue slap your brains out wanting more while you're trying to figure out if they're making a touchdown or if they're trying to go for 10 or something like that. I don't know what, honey, this just make you eat and you'll understand the ball game as you go. That's the only <laughs> thing I can tell you. <laughs> So we'll get the recipe on our Facebook page and you're also going to tell us how, I mean, you do just do like half blue, cheese, you know, how you make the, the dressing. Yeah. Just so half the, and half? The, the dressing will be on there too. It's just, okay. uh, it's just, it'll be on there. It's just sour cream, mayonnaise, a little heavy cream, and then a ranch packet. And then you take blue cheese and mash it up and mix it all in there. Oh Lord, honey, you can use that stuff on anything. It's the new sauce to go to. Well, it's always great to catch up with you, Chef Jason Smith. Thank you so much. Can't wait to try this dish. Well, what and what do you call it again? Honey, this is called my Buffalo Chicken Tacho. Tacho. I love it. All right, Jason, thank you so much. I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you. I can't wait.